Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Timmy Treacle, also known as Horror Fan for Life. And today I'm bringing you another movie review of one of my favorite directors, and that is Alfred Hitchcock. Uh, the movie I'm going to be reviewing is Suspicion. It is my 19th Hitchcock movie that I have watched. Now this movie is a psychological thriller that was released on September 14th, 1941 and received overwhelmingly positive reviews with critics. It has a 7.4 out of 10 on IMDb, and at the time it had a 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. It has since dropped to 97%. Uh, the movie had a $1.1 million budget, and it made $4.5 million at the box office. And as I said, this was directed by the great Alfred Hitchcock and written by Samson Robinson, Joan Harrison, and Alma Reville. This movie stars Cary Grant, Joan Fontaine, Madge Bruce, and Heather Angel. And this movie received three Oscar nominations, winning one for Best Actress for Joan Fontaine. And that is the only Oscar win in all of Hitchcock's movies. So that's a rare feat. Uh, but getting to the movie, uh, it is about Johnny, who is played by Cary Grant, who runs off and marries Lena, uh, played by Joan Fontaine. Despite her parents' disapproval, they get married, and she slowly suspects that he is uh, not who he seems. Uh, she suspects him of... Uh, uh, murder and uh, and all sorts of evil things uh, but there's always one catch he always has an excuse or a plan for something he has done that she finds out about uh, that's pretty much the gist of the movie without getting really into more spoilers but uh, I love the characters I love uh, the direction of course the story is well written uh, and the ending kind of surprised me a little bit uh, it was a kind of a nice twist but nothing nothing I had seen before uh, but without Alfred Hitchcock he is uh, or was the first person or master of horror and uh, this is just a well-made movie I really enjoyed I had a toss-up between this one and North by Northwest well, I took this one first because it is a shorter movie and uh, North by Northwest is about two hours and 20 minutes so uh, I will be watching that one tomorrow uh, which will make it my 20th Hitchcock movie uh, but suspicion like I said it's it's an amazing movie it's one I would highly recommend you check out the cinematography is beautiful, beautiful black and white movie. I didn't always appreciate or even watch these movies. Uh, even in my pre-teens, my teen years, and even my 20s, I just thought these movies were bad movies. And I didn't even pay them any attention. But into my 30s, I have a new high respect for all these older films and the actors and actresses that played these roles and did, and did these movies. Uh, of course, Cary Grant, uh, the only other movie I knew him from was Father Goose, which he's excellent in. I grew up watching that with uh, my grandma and grandpa Walling. And uh, as far as the other actors and actresses, uh, Nigel Bruce, I know him from the uh, Sherlock Holmes movie shorts. They're about hour-long movies uh, I've seen several of them uh, but outside of that uh, Joan uh, Fontaine and Heather Angel I'm, I'm not really familiar with but Joan Fontaine was amazing in this movie she's beautiful and really talented I'm definitely going to have to check out more of her work uh, along with Cary Grant uh, he did a lot of his movies in the 30s, 40s, 50s, and 
early 60s to mid 60s. And then all of a sudden he just stopped making movies uh, the last 20 years. I don't know if he retired. Uh, I haven't looked at his Wikipedia page, but he uh, had his final film role in 1966. And uh, really want to find out why, but uh, he passed away 20 years later. But he is a great actor. I'm really surprised that uh, uh, he didn't win an Oscar for his performance. I'm surprised about that with a lot of Hitchcock movies. But this will go down as one of my favorites. I, like I said, everything about this movie is great. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, I highly recommend this movie. I'm going to give Suspicion a 10 out of 10 and two thumbs up. So definitely check this movie out. It is well worth the watch. Other than that, in the comment section below, give me your thoughts and opinions on this movie. If you, in fact, have seen it. If not... Uh, give me some of your favorite Hitchcock movies and give me some that you think I, I uh, should watch. Uh, now, mind you, I have seen now 19 of his movies. Uh, the next one I'm going to be watching is North by Northwest, which I'll watch tomorrow, probably uh, early morning or late afternoon. But uh, yeah, it is a fantastic movie. Definitely check it out. Other than that, I thank you guys for watching yet another movie review. Stay tuned for more uh, movie reviews. I'm going to be doing my ranking of all seven Child's Play movies as I finished the last one today. So look forward to that and much more content from my channel. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, and let's talk about movies. I love anything movies, TV shows. I do rankings and top tens along with other fun things. Until next time, I thank you for watching and check you.